Hello, and welcome to the Mercy College Library's Information Literacy Module Series. In this module, you will learn the difference between search engines and databases, how to develop a search strategy for your research paper or project, how to access databases using the library website, and how to use database tools to refine and focus your search. Ready? Let's get started. Search engines are open web-based search tools such as Google, Yahoo, or Bing that help you locate information available on the World Wide Web. You're probably very familiar with those. Databases use the internet to search for information too, but use a restricted part of the web to store information that is off-limits to search engines like Google. This portion of the web is sometimes referred to as the closed or dark web. Where search engines troll the free and open web where anyone can post anything, databases search a much more controlled environment of information that has been checked for validity and reliability, what we call authoritative sources. The authority of the sources you use to support your research paper or project is crucial. If you think of your project or paper as building a house, your sources are its foundation. If your foundation is strong, the house is solid. If your foundation is weak, your house may collapse. Before we jump in on databases, let's do a bit more preparation. Another difference between databases and search engines is how you communicate with them. Where Google can gobble up whole sentences of natural language queries, databases relate better to what we call keywords, the essential terms and what you're searching for. When first dealing with databases, this is maybe the most challenging difference from a search engine like Google. But here's the upside. As you get a handle on databases, you will find that using keywords is one of the tools you can use to give you much more relevant and focused results. Think about it. When was the last time a Google search returned less than a gazillion results? Our natural language Google search on cyberbullying, for example, returned 539,000 results. Yeah, that's right. The fast track to information overload and... <coughs> well, let's just say you've got to get up real early to go through that many results. Let's look at our topic question. What steps are being taken to prevent cyberbullying in social media? All right. Let's break this down. Good. Now let's take these keywords and plug them into a database to see what happens. Let's start with a reference database. If your professor says, no Wikipedia for your research project, not to worry. Your library has got you covered. So let's take a look at Credo Reference, a good reference database accessible from the library website, which you can reach from the Mercy College homepage, mercy.edu, then mouse over academics, scroll down to libraries, and that will take you to the library homepage. Then scroll down to the research column there in the center. Select find articles by subject. This is a listing that's going to give you all of the databases by subject or your major. It helps you find which databases have strengths in a particular field. It also, off to the left, lists our most popular, our heavy hitters, which includes Credo Reference, the big reference database. So let's take a look to see how our keywords may fare in a database like this. So. We click on advanced search, which is going to give us a few more options. And we put in cyberbullying up top because that's our, that's our main keyword. Then in an exact phrase, we can enter two words or more. And you see there's social media, but also there's social media or social networking, which is actually something that might give us a few more options on the return. So let's go with that, see what happens. Click search. And not an overwhelming number of results, but we did get nine. And as you see there, we have cyberbullying, we have um, cyber and internet offenses, cyber stalking. 
that looks interesting and then up scrolling back up here off to the left just to point out uh, briefly you'll see how the database uh, tries to focus these articles uh, into a way that makes them easier for you to determine what you want let's click on cyberbullying just to see what it gives us there and you see it gives us a little sort of introduction to the article if that looks interesting you can click on the link to give you the complete text um, over on the right side right here you'll see a number of little tools that are with every article um, it will give you an email option a pdf option a save option a share option down at the bottom uh, these are the uh, style citation styles that you can choose you see you have an option of apa mla so credo will also fix you up that way as well credo reference has given us a good start now let's check out one more database for a wider range of information sources all right now let's look at a, another database a general purpose database again accessible through the mercy college homepage mouse over academics down to libraries then in the center column there look for the second link find articles by subject then the general listing off to the top left there you see where we chose credo last time now we're going to look at proquest all collections this is a database actually it's 16 databases in one and can be a nice one-stop shop uh, for your article search as you see, we have our keywords laid out there and ready to go. We have cyberbullying up top. We have social media or social networking, as we used before. Um, this time, we have them placed within quotation marks, which will tell the database only bring back those words exactly as they appear uh, within the quotations. I'm going to click on the full text, which will give us just that. And I'm going to leave everything else off. Click search. Let's see what happens. Well, 2,420 results, more than the nine that Credo gave us, but less than the 569,000 that Google gave us. Also, you'll note over here on the right that ProQuest will bring back a number of different types of articles. And you see there the magazines, there are 118 magazines. I think I want to go there. I want to see what we have on, on these keywords in magazines that ProQuest found for us. So just scrolling down, scrolling down, looking for titles that may be interesting. And you see the keywords are highlighted there. Look at number six, how to stop the bullies. Yes, click on the title. It will bring you to the abstract page. The abstract is a summary of the article, which can be helpful. If that looks promising, then you can kind of scan the article there. You see there's the full text and you can see where the um, highlighted keywords show up. If you prefer the PDF version, which will look more like a photocopy of the original, that's also available. And you see it has email, print, and the handy site option. Click on that, and yes, ProQuest will cite that article in the style of choice. There's APA, there's MLA, whatever you want, you just tell it it does it. You can also email yourself the article, which also offers you the opportunity to include at the bottom the citation in any particular style that you want. So ProQuest will do this with every article. It's a, a very useful, very user-friendly database, and uh, with along with Credo, maybe all you need for your project. If you find you need more help, check the supplementary sources available in Blackboard or ask a Mercy College librarian for help. Okay, here's what we've covered in this module. We've learned about the basic differences between search engines and databases. We developed keywords from our topic question to focus our database search. We accessed and searched two databases through the library website to locate valid, authoritative outside sources for your research project. And we learned that additional information is available through the module companion site available through your Blackboard course or asking a Mercy College librarian.
In our next module, we'll learn about how to credit your outside sources and how to avoid plagiarism, which is a big dark hole you definitely don't want to fall into. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next installment.